everyone, my name's Molly. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to clone yourself in Premiere Pro just like this. So if you're interested in learning how to do this, then carry on watching. Let's get into it. So to create this cloning effect, like you've just seen in the intro, you're going to want to take video of yourself twice, having a discussion with each other. This is if you want to be interacting with yourself. If not, then just take two videos of yourself doing whatever you're doing, I don't know if you're running around in the garden or you're having a conversation with yourself, take a video of that. Obviously I had to take a video twice, so when I was sitting on this side I took a video and when I was on this side, the other half of the conversation, I was sitting here and I took another video. Now you're going to want to make sure you've got the lighting and the camera set up in the same position just so it works, otherwise you're gonna, it's going to look really weird and it's not going to look like you're actually a clone of yourself, it's going to look like it was filmed two different times. So now I'm going to show you how to edit it. So as always, we're going to want to go to new project and create a new project in Premiere Pro. So now you've got a blank project, you're going to want to bring the videos that you've just filmed into it. I'm going to cut both my videos down to where I want them to start. This is just because I film my videos myself, so obviously I was at the camera when I pressed record and I have to walk over here, sit down and then start the video. So I'm going to do that now. Also, because you're going to want to stack your videos on top of each other, you're going to want to get your first video and just slide the audio and visual up. So this video can then slide it in between. So I've just finished cutting and lining up my videos. So as you can see down here, when this audio from my first video stops, then my audio from my second video will start. Okay, so now we're going to get into how you actually create the effect. So you're going to want to click on your top video and you're going to want to come down to your effects control panel. And here you're going to want to see where it says opacity under there. You've got this pen tool which is your free draw bezier and you're going to want to click on that. And all you're going to want to do is draw a box around the person you're going to be cloning. Now when doing this you don't want to do it too close to yourself or whoever you're cloning because you will lose some of like your arm or something. So you are just going to draw it sort of far away but not too far away that it's going to affect your other video. So now as you can see both my videos are sort of merged into one but to sort of make this effect look more realistic you're going to want to come down here where it says mask expansion and just expand your mask just a bit and what I also like to do is also mask feather this really helps with if you've got different lighting so even though you've kept the lights and the camera in the same position sometimes it can change like I've got some natural light in this room the sun could go in and it could look completely different. Now, you're not going to want to feather it too much because as you can see, you start losing some of you or whoever you're cloning. So you just want to do a bit of a feather, like so. Now let's have a look. Hello everyone, my name's Molly. In today's video, we're going to be teaching... So as you can see, I've got the video and it's a clone of me, so we've actually completed the effect but I do just want to make it a, look a bit more realistic so as you can see this side looks a bit more warm and has a lot more warm tones than this side so I'm going to click on my top video which is this side and I'm going to come over to this tab here and I'm going to scroll down and here where it says temperature I'm just going to alter the temperature and turn it up a tiny bit just so it looks like it's the same video. So I've got my two videos now and I want to colour grade both of them but because they're separate videos I'd have to colour grade one and copy it over. An easier way of doing this is actually just coming down here and making an adjustment layer. So just press OK and then bring it onto your timeline and you're going to want to drag this over all the clips you want to be colour graded. So now you click on the actual adjustment layer and you can colour grade it and this will colour grade both of them together. I'm going to turn up the contrast a bit and also turn down the blacks a bit as well. Maybe a bit of saturation. I've just colour graded the adjustment layer here and whatever the adjustment layer is over it will colour grade. So if it's over this, these videos it will colour grade, if I pulled it over more and I had another video down here it would colour grade that as well. So that's a really quick and easy tip to colour grade 
all your videos at once. I hope you learned something from this video and enjoyed it. Now it's up to you guys to get cloning yourself on Premiere Pro. I hope to see you next time. Please like and subscribe down below if you enjoyed the video. Bye!